60s child. Do you, Do you remember? remember? Hello again. In this video we're going to be looking at science sets. Growing up in the 60s meant we watched a lot of sci-fi stuff like Doctor Who. And we watched horror films like Frankenstein. We watched the scientists put men on the moon. It was such exciting times. Our model kits had scientists in them. Like Dr. Jettel and Mr. Hyde. And what a cracking model kit it was. The first computers were being made. Although they filled a room. It seemed every other film or TV program had some mad scientists in it. We had films like this. The absent-minded professor from Disney. Way before the Robin Williams film. We had Jerry Lewis. Remember him, the nutty professor? Way before Eddie Murphy. It seemed like all our scientists were a bit mad. Or if not mad, a bit nerdy. We had Ladybird books at school about science. Told us all kinds of things. Gave us experiments to do, but I don't think you'd be allowed to do this today. And we also did a bit of science at school, although I found the books a bit stuffy myself. And one day during one of the school holidays, the summer holidays that is, I don't know how it happened, but me and my mate started to talk to this young chap down the road. He was a bit of a loner really, and a bit nerdy. Now I don't mean anything by that, I just mean he never really went out doing anything. We only ever saw him in his garden. Anyhow, he introduced us to his little laboratory. And he impressed us with some little experiments he'd done. We watched him make things fizz, and even things flash and pop. He, kid you not, he even had the white coat. Anyhow, this young man then decided to give his newfound friends a chemistry set. Well, it was half used anyway. He'd done all the best stuff, I think. So up we trundled home and set up this little mini lab in a cupboard in my back bedroom. I mean, would this be allowed today? A Bunsen burner. Well, it's a, it's a wick basically, and you put methylated spirits in it and burn it. Imagine the health and safety brigade today. Anyhow, as we saw it, the more harmful the better. And we didn't really care if it blew up. Now, don't get me wrong, we weren't terrorists. We were looking for a firework type bang, not a massive explosion. So here's what you got in one of these chemistry sets. You got your Bunsen burner, your litmus paper and stuff like that. We also got these test tubes full of curious sort of chemicals, some which you wouldn't actually give kids today. So we read the little book that came with it and we did a couple of experiments, but they weren't that exciting. Now if you go back to the 50s and 40s, chemistry sets looked like this and they had a lot more stuff in them. One of the things we really wanted to make was these stink bombs. And we sort of did it, but it didn't last very long, the smell. We even tried making this, but there was no way we had the stuff to make that. And just as well, I think. Yeah, so the chemistry set thing was, it wasn't really a long-lived project. We got fed up with growing crystals and things. We did acquire one of these, a microscope, and for a while we had a bit of fun looking at things like insects, legs and bits we'd found in the gardens. But the novelty soon wore off. As I stated earlier, it seems the chemistry outfits were probably better in the 50s. And these construction outfits, look at this, you can make a robot. I think the problem was, as people get more safety conscious, they started to reduce what kind of chemicals, dangerous chemicals, they put in these things. I mean, look at this, atomic energy. So, for a week or so in one summer holiday, we messed about with chemicals. And then we got fed up of it. So we swapped it for one of these, our very own toolkit. Now that's more like it. And we learnt how to put screws in things and build things. Even trapped our fingers on the pliers. And there's only so many times you lick your thumb with the hammer and then you get used to hitting nails. But it put us in good stead for building one of these, our very own cart. Well that's the end of my little video, I hope you all keep well, stay healthy and I'll see you later.